So if you've never seen a single episode of The Sopranos, would you still like this film? And my thing is, I'm not sure you would. The biggest issue with the film is that it is, I think this film is made solely for fans of The Sopranos. You see, whenever you're making a film, you have to have a story. And the worst thing that you can do is when you're making like a film based off of a popular property, but you're so reliant on that property. That's when it could be problematic. And I think that's one of the issues um, with this film is this film is heavily reliant on how popular The Sopranos was and it's almost leans too much on it. And it's not really a good film. But you see, you know, it's the film. It's it's decent, but the film feels too much like a extended episode of the Soap Soap Sopranos. Case in point, I put it this way: that I, I was I was watching the film. I said to myself that, what if you didn't see a single episode of the Sopranos? I know no guys who've never watched the Sopranos. So if you've never seen a single episode of the Sopranos, would you still like this film? And my thing is, I'm not sure you would. Because there is, because what is represented in the film, if you know nothing about the Sopranos, there is not enough juice to really get connected with. So you see, look, I mean, the story is pretty much about, you know, Tony Soprano that we all know uh, from the Sopranos series. This is pretty much about his uncle. Um, I think it's called, his uncle's called like, this is M. Dickie Moltisanti, you know, obviously Michael Imperioli, who played Chris Miller Moltisanti, that is obviously his dad, and, and it's pretty much about him. His relationship within the, the father, his relationship with this other African-American character, because they run this numbers game, and just what he did. But as you're watching it, it just, I mean, the, the like, because I got like halfway through and I was like, what's happening here? Like, I am not engaged. I am nothing within the film is really, is really pulling me closer into the, the film. I'm not really sort of gauging anything that's really interesting happening. And it just seems as if I was like, okay, like, where is this going? And when I finished the film, I was like, it didn't go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. Like, there was a really... Because, you know, whenever I watch films and whenever films don't work, I'm like... Sometimes films just don't work totally. Like, we're like, it's, everything is just crap. But you can watch films and be like, there are the ingredients here for a really good film. And I do feel that there were ingredients in this film that could have made a pretty interesting movie. But I think, if like, put it this way, if you're a fan of The Soap Sopranos, watch it. But I don't think you will... You will you will watch it as like, hey man, that's cool. Oh, this is what this could do. This is what, what this could do. But I don't think it's embellishes the Sopranos world well enough. Because what I was thinking was that, okay, well, this is now Tony's uncle. Let's now really see what young Tony was like and how this uncle affected young Tony. I mean, they showed it, but sort of on a, in a surface way. And it didn't really fully eliminate or expand the Tony Soprano character himself. And the other thing as well is that I would not recommend this to somebody who did not watch Sopranos, no way. If you have not watched this, the Sopranos at all, you you will not, I don't think, you will watch this film and be like, this film is pointless. So, which is why this, and that's the biggest issue with the film is that it is, I think this film is made solely for fans of The Sopranos. If I cannot imagine anybody who didn't like The Sopranos that will watch this film and will say, oh, that's a great film. You may watch this film and be like, okay, it's cool. But you'll say, okay, that just seemed pointless. That just seemed like, yeah, what, whatever. And even when I left the cinema, I was thinking to myself that, and this is why I don't even have Sopranos like in one of my top TV shows of all time. Because was the, the Sopranos really a great show with regards to writing? Or did it just have an incredible performance by James Gandolfini? Because for me, the best performance in a TV show by character is James Gandolfini as Tony Soprano. I think his performance in that is freaking insane. So I think it's more so... James Gandolfini's amazing performance as opposed to 
how amazing the show was in terms of writing stories because the writing in Spanish it is good it is good but it's not as good as The Wire it's not as good as Bodok Empire you know it's not as good as other shows where I just think has much better writing it's not as good as um, Snow, Snow, Snowfall you know or even I don't think it's as good as Breaking Bad in terms of just formulating a story and so forth so ultra detective so yeah man I mean I said, I've got to keep it a stack with you, man. Like, after, at the end, when I watched the film, I was like, okay. You know, all right. So, like, what was... And, but, and, I, and I do think the film could have been better. I think... Because the film was, I think, two hours. I think the film should have... There were t there were particular relationships, specifically with, obviously, the main character, I think, Dickie Moltisanti. And I think it's, I think it's called Harold. Harold, the um, black character that he's with, there were there are particular relations that you could really expand it to make this thing really really interesting that they didn't really expand upon, and it just sort of feels as if it just goes from one scene to another scene. This thing happens, this thing happens, and even when sort of big moments happen in the film, you're like, oh, it happens. You don't you, you don't really buy those things happening because you're not really allowed to live with the characters enough properly, man. So, yeah, man. All in all. So it's a film, it's okay, it's fine. There's some interesting performances, but for me, I don't know. It just, it's it felt pointless and it felt flat to me. And I think for Sopranos fans, it's like a cool extra appendage episode. Sort of what's like, what's it, El Camino was for um, Breaking Bad. But if you're a non-Sopranos fan, you've not watched The Sopranos, I can't recommend this film, man. Like, subscribe, one love.